wave dashing is done like this so as you can see forward you do forward down down forward forward and then stop and then forward down down forward stop forward but you have to do it in a way of like like that right so you have to kind of like slow it down a bit so like just do forward quarter circle forward if you really want to and you can see that it crouches right but you need to cancel it so to cancel it you gotta tap forward and but leave it in neutral so like this So this is how you do it on path, right? You can see I'm, the way how I'm doing it. Back dashing, I'll talk about that in a second. But yeah, this is how you do wave dashing. Like if you want it to be consistent, just have to slow it down. Slow it down. If you feel like you're getting too fast, some people do it too fast. But the reason why people do crouch dash is mainly because they, they want to be able to confuse your opponent to do stuff. So that's the whole reason behind like crouch dashing. Uh, the wave dash, should I say. Looks really sick, right? <laughs> Looks really sick. Yo, what's good people? Today, I'm going to show you how to wave dash on Leaveless Star Controller. So as you can see on the overlay, we have the Leaveless Star Controller. So to initiate a, a crouch dash, you press forward. So as you can see, I'm pressing forward. And the neutral, so neutral is pressing nothing. So forward, neutral, down, down, forward. And then that's a crouch dash. So that's how you would do a crouch dash. Now, to chain these crouch dashes, that's where the wave dash comes in. So you have to press down, neutral, down, down, forward. And then just continue. So I'm going to show you what that looks like on the big screen. So I'm going to switch so you can see my hands. So the same thing applies forward, neutral, down, down, forward. That's a crouch dash. Now to chain these, you would just kind of chain the input. So forward, down, down, forward, 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 down, down, forward. And then so on and so forth. Now P2 is the same thing, so forward, neutral, down, down, forward, that's a crouch dash. And then you would just chain it, forward, neutral, down, down, forward. A little bit more tricky to do it on P2, but with practice and repetition, you'll get it. So now I'm going to show you how to wave dash on a lever, so an arcade stick. As you can see, I'm using an arcade stick. So the same thing applies. So to do a crouch dash, you would press forward. So forward. And then when you take your hand off the lever, it's neutral, so you're pressing nothing. So forward, neutral, down, down, forward. That's a crouch dash. So again, to wave dash, you would actually chain these crouch dashes by pressing forward, neutral, down, down, forward, 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 neutral, down, down, forward, forward. And that's how you would do that. I'm going to switch to the big screen once again so you can see a little bit in more detail. So, forward, forward, neutral, down, down, forward. So this is how to do a crouch dash. Now to wave dash, you have to press forward, neutral, down, down, forward, forward in order to cancel the crouch dash so that you can do it again. That's how you would do wave dash. Now on P2, it's a little bit easier because your hand kind of naturally follows that court circle forward motion, a little bit easier. So it is easier on P2. So you would press the same forward, neutral, down, down, forward to do a crouch dash. And then to wave dash, to cancel the crouch dash, you have to press forward, neutral, down, down, forward, forward. So you kind of bring the stick to forward and then you can do, you can kind of repeat that motion 